Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa, wait, that was a car. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, okay. I've never fallen back this far before. <laughs> At this point, I might as well just go back in the water. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you guys have joined me for my, uh, getting over it, uh, let's play. <laughs> uh, this is my new playthrough, just starting it here. First episode, first part. Welcome. <laughs> yep, the name of the game. There we go. That was pretty quick. I see why there's an appeal for speedrunning this game. Just to like, see your own personal growth. Oh bro, keep on falling. And swing, and swing. Ah uh, no, we gotta poke with this one. Alright. I guess I could come up with a, another work story. What do I remember? Hmm. I think I, in the last stream I talked about a couple of the best ones. Hmm. Oh, and there we go. Back to the beginning. Can try the roof pogo. Oh, that's true. I can try that again this time. Hopefully, I remember. I'm a very forgetful person. <laughs> it's a good idea. I do want to try it. Oh, that was a bad pogo. That was a deserved fall. Oh, I can tell you guys about the Vietnam veteran that came into work. <laughs> had a fucking attack. Oh, I said the F word again. That's another one in the jar. Alright, so it was when I was first working there, very new. It was the first phone call I ever took to take an order. And the guy sounded like he was talking on the other end of a Walmart toy walkie talkie. Or maybe he was talking through a Pringles can or something for the whole call. He sounds choppy as hell. All raspy and whatnot. And not his voice, it's the crappy phone. And he's ordering like these sliders, and I thought he was ordering not the sliders, just the regular full-size sandwich. So I give him the three full-size sandwiches. And when he shows up, he's all like, no, I wanted the sliders. I swear to God, I'll kill you all. <laughs> that kind of shit. But, um, the way it went down wasn't that simple. Oh, no, it couldn't have been that simple. Oh, I wish it was that simple. The way it went down was I took the phone call, very first phone call I ever took. And I'm thinking, wow, I really don't want to work here. This guy's fucking bad shit crazy and I have to deal with this every day. Uh, what? When we make a mistake like that there, too, we don't just go, oh, okay, well, you can wait for the sliders. No, we'd give him the three full sandwiches for no extra charge. We'd charge him for the little sliders and give him the three huge-ass sandwiches. Cause that's, that's on the mistake. That's the mistake of the company, with me being the worker. So, like, there was nothing. Like, he was getting a bunch of stuff for free at this point. Should have been happy about it if he stopped to listen for a second. Uh, telling stories while I'm doing this is gonna make me play so much worse. But if I already play horrible, then playing worse is barely a downside. So, the way when he hears that he doesn't have the sliders, but he can have the three full size sandwiches for free, he's uh, he placed the call with me, but the person at the front like counter when he came in was the sweet little manager pregnant lady. She's like five foot tall, 
at the time she was pregnant. Nicest, well, relatively nice. And uh, good customer service, so she was very nice to the psycho. And he begins to start climbing over the counter, like an inch away from her face, screaming bloody murder. Again, because I fucked up the order, I felt so bad. I'm getting a pregnant lady screamed at and threats against her life by like a Vietnam veteran having flashbacks right now. <laughs> Threatening to fucking kill us all. I said, Rickin again. Another one in the jar. And uh, yeah, I think what happened was he ended up not taking any food and just storming out. He must have been having a bad day, or he's just crazy or something. Because, uh, if he would have stayed and listened, he probably would have liked the deal he was offered a bit more. Three huge sandwiches for the price of three really tiny sandwiches? That's pretty good, bro. Give it a shot. It's totally my fault. I messed it up. And I immediately apologized to the manager, like, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. By the way, I don't think I want to work here anymore. Four years later, I'm still working there, but like... That is a crazy ass first phone call to have as a new employee. God damn. It's wild. Okay, there we go. I thought I would fall at that point. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him there again since then, so I don't think I'd want to either. He if I did see him again going in there, it would probably be because he brought a gun, so I'm very glad I haven't seen him again since then. 100 my bad, 100% my bad, I admitted it, new employee, learning how things work and whatnot. But still just impressive at that point. <laughs> oh, when I run out of work stories, I could do school stories, those are even worse three separate occasions where someone tried to stab me in elementary school. Wow. The place I live in is very trashy when I actually say the school stories now that I think about it. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing too because only one of the attempted stabbings was a knife. The other two were scissors. I just had... Bad luck with people my whole life, haven't I? <laughs> or maybe I'm the problem, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if I could get up there right now and try the roof pogo. Maybe try and pogo up there from on top of the hot tub here. Ooh, can I try something here? I love you, Grill, but I might not need you anymore if I can make this work. Oh, is this progress? Is this possible right now? You gave me a beautiful idea and I'm hoping it works. Oh, nothing. Wait, I can go over here? What? What is this nonsense? Can I get up here? Am I finding alternate paths? Oh wait, is that like an invisible wall? Am I actually not supposed to get up here? That feels like an invisible wall or something. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Wrong way sign. That's kind of funny. Let's see if I can reach it again just to make sure. Uh, I don't think I can reach that. Dropping a piece of paper. Oh, that's pretty wild. Was it like homework and he was saying like, no, screw you, I'm not doing it? That's at least kind of cool. Or was it just psycho teacher with a power complex? Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson, that's pretty cool. I definitely feel like, especially from my experiences in public school, there was a, oh, just a piece of paper? That's insane. That's psychotic. But like, I guess it goes into what I'm saying here. I definitely feel like there's a lot of teachers who just like, 
have a power complex or something. You just want to feel like they've got control over somebody, or they're just getting high to the idea of it. Don't get me wrong, I've had a lot of great teachers too, but that was more so in college. Especially in elementary school. Or not elementary school, uh, middle school and high school. I can think of crazy teachers who seem to just be getting off to having authority over someone rather than actually trying to educate us with anything practical. <laughs> and I mean, they probably hated their jobs too. I'm sure there's their side of the story that I'm not hearing, but... Mm, there's a good two or three I could think of who were just psycho. And it felt like they were only there to feel like they had control over someone else in life. Or you, I don't know, you feel a lack of control in your own life, so you let it out by being fucked up to a bunch of kids who have no power in the situation. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a psychological analysis of someone who isn't even here, so whatever. Oh, let's not do that too quick here. I did have a story that's kind of similar to that from elementary school. I had a teacher who, a uh, real old teacher, my mom actually had him when she went there, so it was kind of crazy. I figured like, oh, my mom had this teacher and thinks he's going to be really cool and liked him, so I'm probably going to enjoy his class a lot. So I go in there and he does that whole first day, like, I don't take shit from anybody fuck you for being here <laughs> kind of speech and I go okay maybe he's just doing like a tough guy act or something at the beginning so like none of the students try to take advantage of him or something because a lot of students will just be lazy and try to take advantage of a nice teacher no I waved high to him because he like made eye contact to me while he was doing that little speech bit and he looked at me, and I guess I made myself an easy target or something by waving to him, and he starts screaming and freaking out, saying about how I have no respect of authority, and how, like, my parents did a horrible job raising me. <laughs> and, uh, he, like, took me out into the hallway, separate from the other kids, and, like, continued to yell and scream at me. And I'm just standing there like, what is wrong with you? Who hurt you, man? That's insane. Five other people had to stay after class. Everyone else did the same thing. Maybe a detention and no one else. Wow. Yeah, no, that definitely sounds like one of those power complex kind of teachers. Feels like that breeds a very unhealthy mentality. I don't know. The first course I had in college when I got out of high school it was just a basic little English course, but the entire course was built around shit-talking our public school experiences. No, this is a bad one, I think. I don't know if I can salvage this one. Yeah, I don't think I'm salvaging this one. Yeah. Let's see if I can just... Okay, I can restart from here. Awesome. Cool. Oh god, I had my first quarter, but at the end I got an A. Yeah, there you go, man. That sounds like... That's a grind. That's like playing this game. Set myself down here. Okay. This dude recorded a lot of voice lines just to shit talk you every time you fall. Or maybe it's supposed to actually be a pep talk. I don't know. It's kind of a blur at this point. <laughs> but uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my English course, the first thing I took in college was all built around shit-talking our collective public school experiences. 
And I got to sit next to a girl who, like, traveled from Detroit and went to, like, one of the really bad Detroit public schools. And she was talking about how wild shit was around there when back in her day. <laughs> and it's just kind of crazy. I don't know if it's just, like, American public schools don't get enough funding or something. Or they do and they just misuse it. Grossly. <laughs> I have no idea what wild shit goes on here. Okay. There we go. Let's take it from here. Take it from here. Okay, cool. Okay. Maybe now's a good time to figure out what the hell slide skip is. Nah. That sounds like weakness to me. Okay. Just a little bit of bad timing on that one. But hey, we can get right back there. Or fall back down. Oh, wow. That was a good swing there. Also, entirely unintentional. Oh no, we gotta sit down now. Gotta like, recenter my mouse on my mouse pad. <laughs> I guess I could talk about one of the, I think two times my middle school got a bomb threat, and, or the time my high school got a bomb threat. <laughs> Those were fun times. I think the high school one was probably more interesting. Am I stuck? I just, I'm stuck. Excuse me? Hello? Uh, hello? I can't move. Uh, I can't pogo. I- okay, okay. That was a bit wild. Okay, here we go. Oh god. That sounds like killer homework or studying, I guess, but jeez, that's cruel and unusual punishment. Oh, you poor guy. I'm assuming this is like... Well, let me read the other chance. Was... If you don't mind me asking, like, what grade was this? Because, like... This sounds like... Oh. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yes, I am gripping the mouse button quite hard. Thank you for asking, Bennett. Last year in seventh. Yup. Those middle school teachers, from my experiences, those were usually the psycho ones. And my friend Hiccup who joined the stream a little bit ago. She had a real fun time with our shitty math teacher we both had way, way back in like 8th grade. She's actually a psycho. We <laughs> oh god, that's a lot of stories in and of itself. Uh, the w I think there was two times. The one time that I remember my high school getting a bomb threat it was, uh, they said it was some post on, like, Facebook or something, like on the school's Facebook page, which was really weird. Almost everyone got a D or an F. That's exactly, like, the thing. I hate how 
When everyone's failing a class, the teacher looks at the students and goes, None of you are studying hard enough. None of you are trying hard enough. No, you're a really shitty teacher. Believe it or not. <laughs> oh, I've had way too many experiences. Where it's like, I'm not wrong, the whole class is. I'm not a bad teacher. You're all stupid. Oh, I fucked that up really bad. I fucked that up really bad. Oh, you, you recycled that quote, I think. I think you've done that one before. Did you run out of quotes, Bennett? Oh, I'm disappointed. Had higher expectations of you. What the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, school uh, bomb threats. They like had a post on like the school's Facebook page or something. And uh, they said they were gonna do it like during B lunch. Like the, the middle lunch, the one that was actually like dead center middle of the day. Or school day really. And um, that was my lunch. But you see, high school James was not only stupid and uh, depressed as fuck, like the whiny little bitch he was, he also would call a mean bluff. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm going to lunch today. <laughs> if there's going to be a bombing, I don't want to miss it. <laughs> so, uh, me and a friend of mine went to lunch. Everyone was running out of the flipping school. I didn't say the F word. That's not another dollar in the jar. Everyone was running for it. And, uh, oh, you're just multi tap That's cool, dude. You're totally good. So, uh... While everyone is, uh... What am I saying? While everyone's fleeing the school and getting their parents to drive them home and stuff, me and my friend go to lunch, 100% ready to, uh, see a goddamn bombing. And, uh... Nothing happens, because, uh, we were right, we called the bluff. But not only that, we like stand on our tables and start screaming, Where are you? We're just like, we wanted a show, give it to us! Where the hell are you? <laughs> and uh <laughs> I mean <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was it was very funny actually. It was a lot funnier there. I can't really do it justice right now. But uh it was a pretty good time. <laughs> oh shit. Good times, man. Except not because we were gonna be bombed, but whatever. <laughs> Mama ain't raised no bitch. I'll go to the school bombing and talk shit while I'm there. Yeah, that was a redo. Oh, more of that sweet Zelda jam. Okay. Whoa, 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 why'd you do that? That was a weird little motion. I definitely do not yet have full control of this character. Despite how many hours I've put behind this game now. This is a three hour stream. Damn. 